damnable roach. Provoke the blade. Oh god. And suffer its sting. Okay, well. Oh, it has such a cool intro. Okay, I guess I'm going first. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. I haven't shoot. I'm thinking you're, too, you're too way too high. Hey? No. I could shoot you from here though. Okay. Uh, let's do a little bard stuff with Gail. The initial recording that I made of this, I went all the I went to the um was to get withers <laughs> basically. So I did not do any of this yet in that initial recording. So this is fun. Um, With haste. So we gotta heal. Who's dying? Will is kind of dying. Oops. We need everyone alive. You, you, you. Nice. Okay, can't do that. We do this. Too far. Hmm, could do this. I should point out, like, this is my first time playing, like, solo balanced, so if I seem, like, like, I know I said this is, like, my, not my first playthrough, if I seem like I am dying a lot, uh, you know, now you know why. <laughs> ah, fucking hell, hard. Oh my god, I'm out of spells. Nice going hard in. This at you at least. Oops. Let's see this done. Now stop dying. <laughs> Guys. Guys, I swear to God. Not enough movement. Jesus. Dude, just push him or something. Nice.
That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Sound what to do. Good. Damn them. They were tenacious. I wonder if I can keep going a little longer now. Oh, sorry. You were saying something. Something the matter. Oh, maybe I'm so. Hello. Go ahead. I'm listening. There we go. Just loot everything here. Hmm. Fables of Faerun, the boy and the beholder. One of the series of thin tomes illustrating the simple lessons to readers of all ages. A shepherd's son tended to his father's flocks on the banks of Kianthar. The days grew long and the boy grew bored. To amuse himself, he called out, Beholder! Beholder! The shepherd came running, but there was no beholder. The boy pointed and giggled, but the shepherd scolded him. Do not cry, Beholder, when there is no Beholder. Promise? I promise, said the boy. But the next day was as boring as the last. Beholder! The boy cried, and his father rushed to his side. The boy laughed and laughed, but the shepherd only frowned and shook his head. The boy turned. There was no Beholder. Only the shepherd clad in a woolen, woolen cloak. A giant eye was painted on the front, and a toothy mouth below. Vines were soon to the cloak's edges. You scared me, boy, and sobbed the boy. That makes us even, said his father, as he dried the boy's tears. The boy never cried Beholder again. It's like the boy who cried wolf, but he didn't get even. <laughs> mm. I grab. Yeah, I did. I should you mind my step. <clears throat> there, a mind flayer, and it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. Oh, oh no, no, do not pickpocket him. Mm. Hi. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel... compassion. Compassion? No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. Um, it's what? possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it, but then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Take advantage of the lapse and break free. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Hmm. Because I'm thinking, I'm like, would you leave a monster like that to possibly die? Or... You should just like be responsible and finish it off. I just kill it. Oh fucking Jesus Christ! Okay. Um, I thought we were gonna stab him. Monster, death is too good for it. Jesus. All right. Ooh, thank you for the loot, though. Why are you Why are you carrying a skull? Like, why? What is the reason? Thing around here. Ah, oh, God. Everyone sneak. Everyone be quiet. Let's have a look. I should mind my step. Nobody make a sound. Ooh.
beautiful. Better make my next move. Oh, awkward. Oh god. Hi. Vicious filth. Oh. Best keep some distance or this will be a short fight. Dun, 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 dun. I can't even disengage, bro. What do I want me to do? Um. Okay. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Do I have it. Yeah, I do. Everybody move. Everybody move. Ah, sorry, Gail. Gail. For fuck's sake, Gail. Come on. Allow me to demonstrate. No, I need you to demonstrate by disengaging. Thank you. No choice but to keep going. Maybe? No. Can't give up. <laughs> Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant oh, Lovely little pick me up. Yeah, I like to spam short rest How and long rest just so I can get a lot more of the dialogue of the game. Something the matter. Plus it's not like I'm playing, you know, tactician or honor, so should be good on camp supplies anyway. Moving in. Open up. That. Silver locket. A finely crafted silver locket engraved with the words from Papa. Oh, it must have been this, which is the camera angle. I didn't even have anything. There he is. Our boy. Just hold on. Yeah, let's go over here. I'm pretty sure there is an actual boar here, because like... I'm kind of curious. Hold on. I wonder... Give me, give me a second story. I don't know where to find it though. Like there's an actual board here, I just don't know where it is. Let's go. Get our boy. Please? Please come and help me. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I want to leave because I've never done that one yet. Okay, we're just going to pretend. We're just going to leave. All right. <laughs> we'll do this the old fashioned way. Oh, fuck. I've never done. I've done the roll away, but I've never done the push yourself to your feet one. So let's see. I'll probably fail it, but that's okay. I don't think I've failed it either, so, you know, I'll take it either way. I'll take anything. Fuck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Guess we're not failing today. Nice. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? Like, I know my hair is purple, but like, you can't just like... Group me up with them. I haven't done anything to you... yet. You arrogant little... Oh. Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Put the knife away, and I'll tell you everything. I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. 
Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> apologies. You'd better have more to offer than apologies. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Ooh, what if we just nod? Just nod. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The strong and silent type. All right. <laughs> Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. I know we don't want them in our heads. No. Of that much we can be certain. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? And what's your plan? Well, getting out of here for a start. Then finding anyone who knows about these worms. I need an expert. Someone who knows how to control these things. And I need company for the road. Why not come with me? You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Yay. Let's move this bitch here. You're not a bitch, Starin. They're just, you know. Starin's never. Except I'm going to romance Starin if it wasn't obvious. Um, Trust no one. Yeah. So he's never going to leave my party. <laughs> so I just keep him up there. I won't stop me yet. Have him as either. Okay, let's talk to the others. Astarian's an interesting find. Let's hope any future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. Okay. Gail. Another joins our merry band. We'll need to keep our wits sharp around him, I think. <laughs> He's just like, excuse me? <laughs> uh, awkward. Need something? Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Mm. Okay. Thank you. What am I doing on time? Ooh, okay. All right, so we got a full party this time. Uh, but I think I'll probably end the uh, episode here for today. Thank you for watching and taking the time to check out my channel. If you'd like to see more of this series, consider subscribing to the channel. And yeah, I will see y'all soon. Bye!